Mm. Sparks fly during a public meeting on police oversight. The intense argument seemingly seconds away from turning physical. Thanks for joining us for the news at 10 o'clock. I'm Chris Fry. This all happened at a community police commission meeting. That's the new group established by issue 24. Their job is to provide oversight of Cleveland police. But this incident well, has some questioning who's watching over the commission. Jim Nelson live tonight at City Hall getting reaction from the city and police. Jim. Yeah, Chris, 10 of the 13 appointments are made by Mayor Justin Bibb, so we had to get his thoughts. We're also hearing from the head of the police union, Jeff Fulmer, who's never short on opinions. The new community police commission has mostly tackled procedure rather than police oversight, but sparks flew on June 14th. Commissioner Alana Garrett Ferguson was speaking about the CPC's responsibilities. And actually supporting the community. That is not in any way, shape, or form meaning that we should be in the back pocket of just four families who do not make up the public. Garrett Ferguson appeared to be talking about the more vocal community members. Longtime activist Brenda Bickerstaff attending as a spectator took exception. I will speak. I can speak. The two nearly come face to face. The city's camera feed cut out for 15 minutes. Jeff Fulmer, president of the Cleveland Police Patrolmen's Association, publicly opposed the very idea of the commission. They have a long ways to go for their accountability before they make us accountable. I do um, agree with the one commissioner. You know, this city is made up of very few voices that are loud. The meeting resumed, then public comments and Bickerstaff's response. I might bring suit against you for the derogatory term that we're in the pocket. You need to be removed. You, 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 you have a problem. You have a problem. I don't have a problem. You got a problem. And that's pretty much how the meeting ended. Worth noting, 10 of the commissioners are appointed by the mayor, the other three by city council. Mayor Biv's office telling us he has confidence in the group, but that he's disappointed, adding, quote, such behavior is not only disruptive, but also undermines the integrity of the work. Now, the president of the Community Police Commission toward the end of that meeting reiterated that all voices, all opinions do need to be heard. We'll have a link to the entire meeting at Cleveland19.com so you can see how everything went down minute by minute. Live at City Hall downtown, Jim Nelson, 19 News.